The initial drive of my thesis comes from looking at coexisting spaces that create hypnotic and disorienting qualities to enhance social interaction in a space. Researching two different markets, Santa Catarina from a historic and architectural lens, and the Grand Bazaar through spatial and experiential methods, has helped me develop a critical approach in markets as performative pieces of architecture. Looking closely at the historic market, it is known that Santa Catarina is the first covered market in Barcelona. With the new roof design, it becomes a very popular tourist destination, but still preserves the local use by the surrounding neighborhoods. Santa Catarina has undergone a massive transformation through time, and it once served as the main food supplier for Barcelona during the post-Civil War period. The changes weren't only on the exterior, but the interior spatial qualities vary throughout the years as well. And today we can clearly see how the old infrastructure was kept, and the interior was adjusted in contemporary terms by still respecting the old. The famous roof is also composed of different structural layers, and most iconically the top part is composed of thousands of pieces of colourful mosaics that resemble a sea of fruits and vegetables. The new design boldly breaks the traditional look of a market and turns the structure into an icon for the city, but it is actually the hybrid mix of old and new that allow it to run as the market it is today. Moving to the local market now from a more experiential point of view, the Grand Bazaar is known as the oldest covered market that is still currently in use. As seen here in the plan, it is extremely large and integrates with the existing urban fabric quite well. And since there are almost 22 different entrances, distinct atmospheres are created around them depending on their location. And when you enter the bazaar from any of these gates, you will most probably be amazed at first, but then get lost quite quickly. And walking down the different alleys won't be differentiable after a few minutes. I guess this is the most intriguing part of the bazaar, that everything seems similar, but yet different at the same time. Beside the traders, there are other recognizable characters that create the community here. These people can be categorized through a range of movements, as they strongly influence the way others move through space and eventually end up becoming orientation points for the lost ones. This short film here aims to capture the disorienting and mysterious atmosphere of the Grand Bazaar with a strong emphasis on the spatial and cognitive hypnotic qualities. Böyle büründüğünüzü düşünüyor musun? Düşünüyorum. Evden çıktığım anda zaten işe gelirken kendimi çok mutlu ediyorum çünkü insanlara bir şey satarken o pozitif enerji onlara vermemiz lazım çünkü 3000 tane dükkan var, 2000 tane çantacı. Benden almazsa başkasını alacak. Kendini evinde gibi hissetmesini sağlıyorum. Çok büyük yani enerji önemli. Kendi içinizde buradaki satıcılar, çalışanlar olarak bir komün bir hayat. Bir aile hayat. gibiyiz zaten. Mesela burada yani, Kapalı Çarşı'da şey Cuma günleri mesela rast gelirseniz saat 11'de ayetler okunur, kurallar okunur, eski Hı. adetlerdir bunlar. Cuma namazına hep beraber gideriz. Hı. Bütün dükkanlar kapanır ve turistlerin ben birçok kez taşkınlıkla baktığını Hı. gördüm. Hani bunlar ne yapıyorlar? Hani savaşa gider gibi. <gülüyor> Bu kaotik ve hani labirent yapısının kasıtlı yapılmış bir şey olduğunu düşünüyor musunuz? Düşünmüyorum çünkü burası 1456 yılında Halk Sultan Mehmet Han tarafından kurulmuş bir yapıdır. Daha sonradan böyle bu yüzyıllar sonra burası turizm amaçlı kullanılmıştır. Peki şu an işinize geliyor mu bu durum? Benim çok işimize geliyor çünkü müşteri geliyor bir kart veriyorsun. Dükkanı bilmese bile dönüyor tekrar yere Doğru. çıkıyor. Nereden dönersen dön kapalı çarşıda öyle bir sistematik yapı vardır ki. Yine başladığın noktaya geri dönersin. 